Hai Shalom Call I am Lai Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem with Kapodash Devil on us to the apostles to the elders of Great Millstone Must peace, love, and salutations to the brothers from his work and truth is sincere Shalom This is the brother Batak back again through the spirit with another lesson Lord willing be edifying The name of this lesson is going to be There is no substitute for prayer Now prayer is um, a very important a very important tool that you will need and use in, in this ministry and as you can see, before you, I took the time to look up the word prayer and see how many times to pray and see how many times it was mentioned in the scriptures. So it is mentioned 622 times because it is a very important thing. Like, like, a, like the entire lesson says, there is no substitute for prayer. There is no substitute for prayer, you know? So I'm gonna start out with a scripture that's very vital. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. It says, pray without ceasing. So, we have to pray without ceasing. We got to always pray to the Lord. In doing so, you're building up your relationship between you and the Lord. And you're also, you're also building up your trust in the Lord. Because the scripture says what? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean out unto thine own understanding. How you prove? How do you prove to the Lord that you trust in Him? Pray to Him, man. That's one of the ways of trusting in the Lord. Pray to the Lord to deliver you out of you know different situations or whatever the case may be. Pray. That's also you putting your trust and you also putting your what? You casting your burdens upon the Lord, like the scriptures tell you to do. You know. So we got to cast our burdens and our worries upon the Lord and let the Lord sort things out for us. Because guess what? Who is in control? How will buy Shimmy out size in control? We're not in control of anything, man. You know, this is the Lord's, you know, this is the Lord's movie. We're just playing our parts in it. And a heavy part of that role, movie role, is to pray to him. Um, and also, it also proves that you really believe in him. Let's get a let me get a real quick precept. Book of uh, Mark, chapter 9. Verse 28. It says, Yahweh said, said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So anything is possible to you if you believe in the Lord. You know, you pray to the Lord to increase your faith, increase you, you know, make you more courageous, give you more wisdom, you know, whatever the case may be, more faith, whatever it may be. You're feeling weak, you know, you feel like you're not watching enough videos, you feel like you're not doing enough of this. Pray to the Lord, man, because that 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 weapon is there for your benefit. Like I said, like the scripture says, pray without ceasing. And like I made a statement, you know, there is no substitute for prayer. There's no substitute for prayer, man. You can never go wrong praying to the Lord, man. Yahweh Shah himself did it. Pray to the Lord constantly. And that showed what? He trusted in the Lord. And the Lord, what, guided his footsteps and helped him in his hour of need. When he had to face the cross, the Lord gave him strength. Um, Salaki, I lost my train of thought. My train got off the track for a second. It's the book of Acts chapter 12, verse, I'm starting at verse 4. It says, and when they, and when he had apprehended him, he put, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrants of soldiers quarterings quarterings of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter which that word Easter should be Passover right there that's what Esau in his deception you can look it up it's, it's supposed to mean Passover it means Passover it says to bring him forth to the people verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the most high for him so the people of the church was constantly praying to the Lord, you know, for Peter to be released. Verse 5. No, verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Because he they kept four soldiers to keep watch. In case somebody tried to break him out of things of that nature, but the Lord had other plans. It says, 
bound with two chains and keepers and the and the keepers before the door kept the prison and the, and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in the, the in the prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from off his hands spiritual powers the lord the lord is powerful man the lord can do anything the Lord, that angel made the changes come off of you, come off of him. Then you have to have a key. That, that shows you power of the Lord. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him. It was not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. So, that right there means that Peter thought he was actually dreaming. He thought he was dreaming, but actually it was a real life thing. You know, the angel of the Lord was breaking him out of this prison. Verse 10, when they were past the first and the second war, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which they went out and passed on through one street and for which the angel departed from. So the angel had one job, which was go to go and free Peter out of prison. So, the point being, the, the church prayed constantly for Peter to be returned. And that's what the Lord did. That, that is what prayer does. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Because there is no substitute for prayer. This is the book of John. No, slot, not, not John. James chapter 1, verse 5. If any man, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask to the Most High. How do you ask to the Most High? You pray to him. You know, pray to the Lord and ask for more wisdom. In the last one, you know, because that, you know, like the scripture says, it's rock one and one. You know, there's no, hey, there's no other tongue that's more powerful than um, speaking the Hebrew, man. You know, there's no substitute for the Hebrew language because it's so powerful. And speaking, you know, uh, speaking that tongue, man, is very powerful, man. So, verse, uh, it says, continue on verse 5, it says, That give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given, or like it, and it shall be given him. So, you got to ask the Lord, you know, pray to the Lord more wisdom, more faith, more, be more courageous, whatever the case may be, man, whatever you lack in that, whatever you need, pray to the Lord, because the Lord knows what you need, so it's, a, it's up to you to build up your connection, build your trust, and believe in, you know, believe in that the Lord, believe in the Lord and that he will answer your prayers. Verse 6, it says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven, driven with the wind and tossed. So when you pray to the Lord, man, be, cause be very, be very adamant. You know, pray to the Lord. Be adamant. Don't be wavering. Like, oh, maybe the Lord going to answer my prayer. Don't even think about it. Just pray to the Lord and leave it in His hands, man. Don't worry about it. Once you pray to the Lord, let that be the last time you think about that. Whatever you're praying for. Let that situation rest. Let Leave it in the Lord's hands. Cast your burdens upon the Lord. So once you pray that prayer, after that, don't even think about it no more. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. You know, because the Lord going to answer it. You got to just, you know, don't be wavering. Don't be sitting up wondering if the Lord going to answer it and all of that. No, have faith. Don't, wa don't waver, man. Verse 7 says, For let, for let that man... For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Because he's wavering. If you're wavering, you're not going to receive anything from the Lord. You got to be very adamant. You got to be serious. Don't even think about your scripture, your prayer, man. You know, leave it in your house by Shemal's hands. Man, and he will handle it. If it be according to his will, man. It says a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you can't be double-minded. You can't be on the fence. You know, oh wondering if the Lord going to answer your prayers and all that. Don't worry about that. 
leave, let that, let, leave that to the Lord. If it's according to his will, he will answer your prayers. And uh, most importantly, you should be asking for things that benefit you in this truth. You know, asking for more wisdom and knowledge and understanding can't hurt you, man. Asking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, how could that hurt you? You know, the scripture says the Lord of bread if not. I mean, he, he ain't going to hold it back. He ain't going to ignore that prayer. If you want to increase your faith, then he's going to give you that, man. You just got to believe in him. It says he give it to all men liberally, freely. You know? So, um, remember to always pray, man, you know? Pray without ceasing. Pray without shutting up. You got to, you know, constantly pray. You know? Um, so like, yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to get, uh, some scripture that says prayer. Because it's like, you know, kind of. Look at King uh, King David. He was always praying to the Lord in his songs, man. And he was a man after the most high's heart. Because basically a prayer is nothing but a cry. You know, you crying unto the Lord. Yeah, I mean, you praying to him. Um, there was a scripture that I wanted in the book, in the, in the Sirach. Uh, this is off the dome. This is the book of, uh, ah, perfect. This is the book of James chapter five. I'm going to start at verse 19, 13. It says, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any among is any of is any sick among you? Let him call the elders of the church and let them pray for him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahweh. And the prayer, the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. See, it availeth much. So, this is a clear example that we should all to pray. Hey, like the scripture says, men always to pray and not faint. Let me see. Uh, Luke 18 and 1 it says and, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint so always pray always pray and not faint man you know Always pray. And the scripture says it. Always to pray. Now I have another scripture that um I wanted to get. The book of James chapter five was very self-explanatory, man. You know? So there ain't no need to break that down very self explanatory it's basically telling you to pray it's the book of um, Sirach it Sirach 7 and 10 it says be not faint hearted when thou makest thy prayer and neglect not to give alms so be not faint hearted when you pray that's the same like it says in the book of James that's wavering you gotta be fervent don't be faint hearted be strong believe in the Lord because that, that right there is, is, is building you up through the spirit 
Um, Sirach 3 and 5, it says, Whoso honoreth the father shall have joy of his own children. And when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. Sirach 21 and 5. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth reaches to the ears of the Most High. And he and, and his judgment cometh speedily. Right. <laughs> so you're oppressing a poor man, which is referring to an Israelite man, most specifically an elect man, that you can bring damnation to your soul, man. You know, afflicting a, 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 um, a, a righteous man, you know. A poor man in a sense, which is automatically talk about an Israelite. You know, just like when Elisha, those kids was, you know, picking at him, man. He cursed them and what happened immediately, man. When bears came and mauled their ass. That shows you the power of prayer. This book of Sirach 35 and 13. Hold on. It says, he will not accept any person against a poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. And who's oppressed in this society? We are the ones that are oppressed. You got to believe that the Lord hears your prayers. You know, like, it, it's very simple, man. There is no substitute for prayer, man. You know? Sirach 35 and 16. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Jumping down to verse 17. The, the prayer of the humble pierced the clouds. That's what I wanted. Until it come nigh, he will not be confident. So and and will not, and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and accept an exact judgment. So it's very plain and simple. Because until your prayers is answered, man, you're not satisfied. You're not comforted yet, man. So we gotta pray to the Lord, believe that He's gonna do it. And once it's done, man, you'll be comforted then. You happy then. Like if you was praying for someone that was sick and they felt better now, and you comforted. You feel better, man. You're like, yes, man, call on him like I'm a shot. Barack and Thayah about Shemel shot, man. He answered your prayers. So, bottom line, man, there's no substitute for prayer, man. You know? It's written all throughout the scriptures. It's a tool that we need. And that we need to exercise and use, build up our relationship with the Lord. And Lord willing, we be delivered, man. You know? Pray for strength. Pray for be courageous. Pray for whatever that you need through the Spirit, man. And to guarantee the Lord's gonna uh, 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 He's gonna He's gonna answer your prayers, man. And you will be comforted. So um with that, man, I'm gonna give all praises unto the glory. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rokha Kodash. Double honors, much peace, love, and salutation to the brothers from his work, truth, and sincerity, man. This is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Very, very simple lesson, man. There is no substitute for prayer. Can't say it enough. Can't pray enough. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edified, man. Until next time, I'm going to give all praise and glory to the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rokha Kodash. Double honor to the apostle the elders, great millstone, much peace, love, and salutation to the brothers from his work, and truth, and in sincerity. So I'm going to say, I'm going to call by Satan. Call me out, Sha'Allah. Wa'abababah. Wa'abad. Adawam. Wa'abababah. Shalom.